that was weird why did i do spirit fingers um <laughs> welcome back to my channel and welcome back to welcome back welcome to today's um taste test so today we are going to be trying these things here my original plan today was to be taste testing um exotic looking asian fruits for you guys and so i went to like 20 asian supermarkets looking for like the weirdest fruits um but one, I guess weird looking fruits are not in season right now. And two, after doing some research, I realized two out of four of these fruits are not even Asian. So today's taste test is just going to be, we're just going to be eating fruit, okay? Because you know what? We're, we, fruit is good for you and we should be eating five servings a day anyway. So <laughs> to pair with this, um, I don't know, I guess weird food taste test, <laughs> um, I'm going to be trying these like Korean drinks for you guys um honestly I don't know what they are I just know that they're Korean because there's Korean words on them and my boss just told me to try them so I'm gonna be trying them on camera for you guys before we begin I'm gonna go cut up these fruits so I can taste test them for you B R and we're back um I wanted to change it to something a little bit more appropriate for the theme of today's video hint hint if you guys can't see <laughs> um okay so we're gonna start from left to right this is I think this is your guys left because this is my right, or right to left. Well, anyways, we're just gonna go this way. This is called Rambutan, Rambutan, Rambu, Rambutan, Rambu, Rambutan. This, yeah, it's called Rambutan. <laughs> and they look like, I don't know if you guys have ever tried like lychee, but it looks like lychee on the inside. I just got juice everywhere. Mmm! Oh my god, it's so sweet and delicious. So that was that was actually really good. It's like super sweet, mild tasting. I believe Rambutan is related to lychee and Logan. If you guys have ever heard of Logan, in Chinese it's called Longan. Um, direct translation means like dragon eye, which is pretty cool. I should have gotten some for you guys today to see. But anyways, it's related to those fruits, and they're all eaten the same way. You pretty much peel open the shell and then like squeeze it out into your mouth. Um, but yeah, that was good. Let's have another one. All right, just for you guys to see. Alright, so next down the line is this spiky fruit. Um, I don't know if you guys can see this, but that is what it looks like. Like total, like, these are like hella prickly. And this is what it looks like inside. Oh my god, how am I going to catch this? Okay, I am really hoping you guys can see this. Inside it's like, it looks like it has like the pulp of an orange. Yeah, like orange pulse, but it's like, like jelly textured. It's quite interesting, honestly. Um, I only have one of these because my cousin grows it in her backyard. And she said she only had one ripe one, so she gave it to me. So nice of her. This is called a kiwano fruit, I believe. Kiwano. Otherwise known as the horn fruit. This is actually from Africa. It's like native to Africa, South Africa. And yeah, let's try this. So she told me that you're supposed to scoop these seeds out. Wait, can you guys see? So she told me you're supposed to scoop these seeds out and eat it. But she did warn me that it's going to be really sour and to eat it with honey. So I brought some honey. But we're going to try without it first. Oh, okay. So the seeds pop out. <gasps> okay, well, let's try this again. So the seeds pop out when you go down it with a spoon. So we're going to try this. Oh. It's not even sour. She was tripping. It's interesting. I'm not used to eating like so many seeds at once. These seeds are kind of soft. Like watermelon seeds. So it's kind of weird eating them. I'm going to try the rest of this half with some honey and see how it tastes. Alright. Mmm. Oh my god, this is so good with honey. Damn, I should have started with honey in the first place. Luckily, I have this half. If you guys can find it at your supermarket, you guys should definitely try it. Alright, so next, I'm going to be trying this fruit. It looks also like spiky, like the kiwano, but it's um, it's it's fake spikes. I actually eat this fruit a lot, and I like it better because it's a lot sweeter than like the regular dragon fruit. Regular dragon fruit, it's kind of like... I mean, like, not to be mean, but it's kind of, like, flavorless. <laughs> flavorless. So, um, this one actually has, like, a sweet taste to it. Let me show you guys. So, that's what it looks like. Just like a regular dragon fruit. 
And um, I usually like to cut it into cubes, but I'm eating it with a spoon today to show you guys. Mmm. Mm-hmm. This has got to be one of my favorite fruits. It's so sweet and delicious. I feel like you can't pick a bad one because like the, every one that I've tried is like really sweet. Anyways, these dragon fruits are actually native in um, Colombia, I believe. I think if you guys like dragon fruit and you think it needs more flavor, this is your go-to. Definitely get some golden fruits. And onto the last fruit. Damn, I'm going really fast. I should have bought more fruits. Um, onto the last fruit. This is called mangosteen. Uh, native to Southeast Asia, I believe. This is what it looks like uncut. This fruit is the most normal looking fruit out of all the fruits here. Um, but it's called mangosteen, and I've also only tried this once. Um, I remember it having like a really mild taste. Not much of a flavor, it's just like a mild sweetness. So I'm excited to try this again because uh, I remember really liking it. All my friends really like it, so here we go. How am I supposed to eat this? Do I eat it with a spoon? You can just peel off one of the one of the cloves. These are like gar garlic cloves. That's what that's what it reminds me of. Um, you can just peel off one of the cloves, I guess, or you can eat the whole thing. But we're just we're just gonna try one clove today. Oh my god! This fruit is amazing. I definitely recommend this fruit. Okay, so now that we're done with the fruits. Let's try these drinks. These are like, like flavored sparkling water. Like, uh, what's up? LaCroix, but a thousand times sweeter. I bought a cup to try. I don't even know why, because I, I could just be drinking straight out of the can, but we're going to start from this way to this way again. <laughs> um, so this first one is orange flavored. Here we go. Right, I'm just going to try these out of the can because I don't want to be doing any more dishes, but... Cheers! Ooh! It tastes like emergency, but good. <laughs> like, not like medicine, but um, it pretty much just tastes like sparkling orange juice. Or not, not orange juice, maybe like mandarin juice, a little bit sweeter than orange, not sour. I like it! Onto the strawberry one. I'm excited to try this because I like strawberry flavored things. Cheers! Um, it definitely tastes like strawberry, like a strawberry, strawberry drink, but I think I like the orange one better. I should pour some out to show you guys what it looks like. Um, but that's what it looks like. It looks like a, what is it? What are those drinks called? It'll come to me eventually, but that's what it looks like. No, yeah, I like the orange one better. On to the last one. This grape one. I'm not really a fan of like grape flavored things, but here we go. <laughs> Cheers. <coughs> yeah, not a fan of grape flavored things, not a fan of this one. Yeah, that concludes today's taste test. Thank you guys. If you guys have watched this far, let me know if any of these fruits are interesting to you. And if there's if there are any other fruits you want me to try, I'm definitely open to trying like pretty much anything. Um, so yeah, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much again for watching. And don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe and share this video. <laughs> Did I do it right this time? Um, okay, anyways, yeah. Bye!